Hello people of the internet. Um, you find me in the garage today, which is uh, a mess at the moment, but I'm making small steps into tidying it up. Um, you may remember many, many moons ago, if you've watched this channel for quite some years now, back in 2012, I posted my first video in September of 2012. And that was me flying a, a Line 250 helicopter in the back garden. That's how the channel started. I gave that up about five, six years ago. But you're going to see some more content to do with RC helicopters because I bought some RC helicopters. <laughs> so I've bought myself a 550E. Um, I'm just going through it now. There's a couple of bits that are, um, yeah, a little bit broken there. And um, yeah, just some tidying up, just uh, some general maintenance and, and checking things, replacing bearings, that kind of thing. Um, the guy who flew it wasn't uh, wasn't a hard flyer. Um, he took it nice and easy, but uh, he didn't fly that much, so obviously the helicopter sat around quite a bit. So just go through it, really. Um, but the guy who sold me this, a guy called Jeff, um, may have done me a good deal on <laughs> on some more. <laughs> so I have got here a 500 line. Um, needs a little bit of work that one. Uh, just basically controllers put in on it. Um, I've got a Vorton Spartex, a Spart Spartan Vortex, yeah, Spartan Vortex to put on that. Just connect it all back up again, and uh, yeah, basically get it all uh, get it all binded in, get it all sorted. Um, then need the canopy for it. Um, I need to get some batteries as well, battery tray. There's a few bits I need anyway. Uh, next to it is a 550L Dominator, which um, had a bit of a crash. Um, it seems what happened, just going through it, that the uh, anti-rotation bearing actually failed while Jeff was flying it, and he lost the tail, um, which obviously brought it down. He wasn't flying it that high, and he wasn't flying it that hard, so it didn't come down with too much force. Basically broke the blades, um, broke one of the guides off the... Uh, off the uh, grip there um did a little bit of damage to the tail obviously tail blades uh, but didn't really do anything too major it was it's unfortunate for him really because say the anti-rotation bearing just went so he would have lost uh, all orientation with the tail completely uh, he would have had no hope to save it whatsoever um yeah above it as well there's a plane a mig 29 <laughs> which i've had for ages and and he flew a handful of times and uh, a reliable old mx2 there so i have got a little bit of RC going on and um, yeah I'm now sort of getting back into the helicopter side again um, yeah this one is the one that will oh, well, I'll be flying first it's it's the most complete one um, I've got a battery that um, I saved some old batteries luckily from for my old fleet uh, so I've only got to replace um, this part uh, basically it fits there um, and it moves the tail backwards and forwards like so, so that's got to be replaced. It's just got a crack in it. I could repair it, but uh, what's the point? Um, and I've got my old MCPX brushless as well. Look at this. Yeah, and I do still fly this. I've flown it recently. Uh, this one has got a few upgrades on it. Uh, you can see that it's got a metal head and things like that. I've also got another one in there, which is uh, pretty much completely standard, apart from the blades. So, you are going to see some more um, RC stuff on the channel. So I'm going back to where I started in 2012. Um, <laughs> yeah. Well, <laughs> it'll be a journey, if nothing else. Anyway, that's it for now. I'll uh, catch you later. Cheers, Internet. Bye-bye, all.